This problem statement is really simple to understand. And I'm pretty sure that when you search for solutions to this problem, all you get are recursive solutions. And I know that recursive solutions are really hard to understand and visualize. So in this particular video, I want to focus on the iterative approach. You are given a tree and you have to determine if it is symmetric about the center. So let's see what we can do about it. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. First, I will explain the problem statement and we will look at some sample test cases. Going forward, we will see how you can take advantage of the level order traversal that you already know and then tweak it a little to come up with an efficient solution. This solution will be iterative and then as usual, we will also do a dry run of the code so that you can understand and visualize how all of this is actually working in action. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let us try to make sure that we are understanding the problem statement correctly. In this problem, you are given the root of a binary tree and you need to check if it is symmetric around the center. So what does this symmetry actually mean? So for example, I have my first test case over here, right? And what you need to do is you need to find out if this tree, this is symmetric around its center. So this is the center and you have to identify if the nodes are same on both the sides. So for the root node, you cannot do anything because it is an individual. But look at the child nodes. Over here, you see a 2 and then you see a 2 here. So this is same and you can say that it is symmetric. Go on to the next level now. Once again, you see a 4 here and a 4 here. You see a 3 here and a 3 here. So this is symmetric. If it was a 4 here and it would have been a 3 over here, then this is not symmetric because this is not reflecting what is the actual state of the tree. So you have to make sure that the order in which you see the elements from the left, this order should be the same when you see elements from the right. That is what symmetry actually means. Along with it, there are a certain scenarios that you need to be careful about. For example, the answer to my first test case will be true, correct? Because this tree is in fact symmetric. But what happens if you look at your second test case? Once again, try to find this imaginary line and you have to find the symmetry. Now for the root, it is fine, well and good. Now look at the second level. You see two on both the sides. That is good. Now come on to the third level. What do you see? If you just look at the elements, you see a three here and a three here. And it probably feels that, hey, the values are same. So the tree is symmetric, but no. If you carefully think about it, the left child of the second node is a null and the left child of the second node is once again a null. So if you are looking at this tree from the left direction, you get a null and then a three. But if you look at from this direction, you get a three, then a null. So this is particularly not a correct reflection. So it is not symmetric. So for this particular test case, you need to return false as your answer. So this is the basic idea about the problem. You can imagine that there is a mirror in between the entire tree and you have to see if this is the exact reflection. So if this tree in the second test case, it had to be a symmetric tree, then this node would have to be in the correct position. It would have to look something like this. Now this tree is a symmetric tree. So I hope that now things are pretty clear to you. If you want to give it a shot once again, stop the video right over here and try it now. Otherwise, let us dive into the solution. Once you try to solve the problem, you understand what is the challenge, right? Because you have to iterate through the tree and somehow you need to keep a track that the order in which you are traversing the elements from the right, this order should be the opposite when you are looking at the elements on the right side, correct? So that is what to define a symmetry. So for a moment, Try to forget about this problem and remember how did we used to do a level order traversal. In a level order traversal, we had a queue. And then what did you do? You put the root element in your queue. And now you will pop it out. Until your queue is empty, you will add both the left child and the right child in your queue as well. Correct? So you will have two and a two added over here. Right? Now for the next step, you will take out this element and then you will add both of these elements to your queue as well. 
this is how the level order traversal is happening correct in the next step you will take out this two and then both of these elements will get in the queue so what do i get i get a four and a three so this is how a level order traversal is working you are going each level one node at a time right and this gives you a very good hint think about what happened right over here when we added the second level elements over here you added a three and a four right and when you were looking at this particular node you were adding a four and a three correct for a tree to be symmetric all of these left and right childs should be swapped correct so this is where you can take an advantage so what you can do is you can take advantage of two queues why do you need two queues because you can use one queue to store all of your elements of your left subtree correct and you will use one of the queues to handle all of your elements of the right subtree and what do we do over here so try to think when we were doing a level order traversal i go in this direction right for every level but you can also do a level order traversal in the reverse direction correct that means i can also add all of my elements like this it means a level order traversal but in the reverse direction i have also made a video on it if you want to get more familiar with the concept but the idea remains the same instead of adding the left child and the right child in the queue what you will do is first add the right child and then add the left child so now the level order traversal will happen in a reverse direction and what do you want to do to maintain that your tree is symmetric you want that the elements that i am adding from left to right all of these elements should be the same when you are adding elements from right to left correct so in a way if i am doing a level order traversal from left to right direction on my left subtree and i am doing a level order traversal from right to left on my right subtree and all of these elements are same what does it mean it simply means that my tree is symmetric right if at any instance the elements are not the same or if one of them is a null you can simply break and say that hey the trees are not symmetric so what happens for example i have this root element over here right now this queue is used for the left subtree so what i do is i take up this element and i add it to my queue and this second child it is a part of my right subtree so i will take up this element and add it to my queue now run a while loop until both of these queues are empty and what do you do apply the level order traversal so when you apply the level order traversal you pop out an element you take out an element from both the queues so now you compare if they are same well and good it means that your tree was symmetric up to this point now you want to add more elements so for the left subtree you want to iterate in the direction left to right so what do you do you add the left child to your queue and then you add the right child to your queue so the elements will be added as three first and then a four and for your right subtree add these elements in the opposite direction so first you will add the right child and then you will add the left child so when you do this what happens first three gets added and then a four gets added so this completes one iteration of your loop what will happen in the next iteration once again pop an element you pop out an element and you get a three from the other queue also pop out an element and you get a three so whenever you are popping elements as soon as you see that they are equal it means that the tree is maintaining its symmetry if they are not equal you will break away immediately but right now they are the same so the tree is maintaining its symmetry so what you will do next you want to keep on iterating left to right correct so if this tree had more nodes you will first add the left child and then you will add the right child to your queue correct and now similarly what do you do for this particular child once again this tree will have two nodes right so add the right child first and then add the left child so you see what we are doing once again we will try to compare this element and this element if your tree had been bigger but right now both of them are null so don't do anything this iteration will again complete and now in the next iteration you will pop out four and then you will pop out four both of them are again equal 
So this loop will stop over here and then you have identified that your trees are symmetric because your queues are empty, right? And you cannot go any further. Had this element been anything else? For example, if this element was a 5 instead of a 4, then what happens? You get a 4 here and you get a 5 here. They are not the same. So you can say that this tree is not symmetric. So you see, just by doing a single iteration of the entire tree, we can determine if your tree is symmetric or not. We are taking a total time of order of n because we iterate through all the nodes only once and we are taking up a space of order of n where n is the total number of nodes because you need these two queues where you can store your maximum number of nodes. So we will shortly do a dry run of the code based upon this logic. But before that, I want you to show the case where you had nulls in your tree. So let us look at this case now. This tree feels that all of the elements are same, right? But it is not symmetric. So what do you do? You take up the left tree and add it to your queue. So two gets added over here. And then you take up the right tree and add it to your right queue. So two gets added over here. Now you will run a while loop and in the while loop, pop out elements from both the queues. They are the same right now. So you know that up till this level, the tree is symmetric. But now you want to move ahead. So for the left child, you want to traverse in the direction left to right. So what is the left child of this node 2? It is null, correct? So you want to place this null also in your queue. So what actually happens? Null gets added to your queue, right? And then you will add the right child and that is 3. So you add null and a 3 in your queue, correct? But what happens if you look at the right child? For the right child, you want to traverse in the direction right to left, correct? So first you will try to add 3. So 3 gets added to your queue and then you will add the left child of your node. And this is a null again. So this will add null to your queue. Your iteration is now complete. And in the next iteration, what do you do? You pop out one element from both the queue. So what do you see over here? In the first queue, you get a null. And in the second queue, you get a 3. Remember, I told you, as soon as the elements do not match, that means this tree is not symmetric and you can stop over here. So you see, by this particular method, you can handle all of the cases, even the ones that have null in between them. So how does the code look like for this? It is very, very simple. On the left side of your screen, you will have the complete code to implement this solution. And on the right, once again, I have the sample test case where I take this root and I pass it to my function is symmetric. First of all, we check if the root is null, simply return a true. Because if there is no root or the tree is empty, it is by default symmetric, right? You can also return a false as well. It just depends what does your question say. Sometimes it could say that, okay, if the root is null, then there is no tree. So there is no symmetry, correct? In the next step, what do you do? We take up two queues. So one queue is for my left subtree and the other queue is for my right subtree. And now I will start to populate them. And how do I do that? I add the left child to my left subtree. So this gets added over here. And I add the right child to my right subtree. So this node gets added to your queue over here. And in the next step, we run this while loop. This while loop will run until both of my queues are completely empty. That is how a level order traversal works, right? And what do you want to do? You will pop out an element from both of your queues. If both of them are null, that is a perfectly valid case, right? Because null also accounts for symmetry, correct? So you will simply continue. That means you want to look for the next element. If only one of them is null, it means that one was null while the other one had a value. This means that the tree is not symmetric. Remember the case, right? A null and a value, they are not the same. So you simply return a false. Now you move ahead to the exact condition. If both of your values are same, this means that the tree is symmetric and you can keep on proceeding ahead. It could also be possible that this was three. And once you pop out these elements, you get a two and a three over here. So they are not symmetric. So you will once again return a false. But up till now, you go level by level. So you have found out three conditions. Both of them were not null. Both of them were same. And then you move ahead. 
and this next bit is very very important how do you push your elements to the queue for the left subtree you have to go in the direction left to right correct because you are doing a level order traversal in left to right direction so for to your left tree you add the left node first and then you add the right node and for your right subtree you are doing a level order traversal in the reverse direction so first you will add the right node and then you will add the left node so for the left subtree what happens first of all three gets added and then a four gets added and for the right subtree what gets happen first you add a three and then you add a four so this is the basic idea this loop will now run again and once again you will pop these two elements since they are the same it will continue and this loop will run again at any instance if these values are not the same if one of the values is null just simply break the loop and you can return a false if your loop completes and your queue is completely empty what does that mean all of the elements matched in the fashion and then you can simply return true as your answer i hope the problem statement and its solution are now clear to you i keep on saying always that level order traversal is your very good friend you can solve a lot of problems by just tweaking and modifying the logic behind it think about it when you're going through the tree level by level it actually solves a lot of problems for you is the tree a mirror how about a symmetric tree similarly you can also travel in the reverse direction correct so all of these are simple modifications so do not limit yourself when you're thinking about a level order traversal it can actually be very very helpful in a lot of problem scenarios so while going through the video did you face any problems or do you know about any other efficient method by which you can solve this problem tell me everything in the comment section below and i would love to discuss all of it with you as a reminder if you found this video helpful please do consider subscribing to my channel and share this video with your friends this keeps me motivated and i can make more such videos also a huge shout out to all the members who support my channel you guys really keep me going and as a member you do get priority reply to your comments and you get early access to videos as well so stay tuned for my upcoming videos until then see ya